Hi guys, my life has been absolutely crazy in the past week. My husband went like super viral on TikTok. I know that's such a weird sentence, but like his song blew up and now it's like number one on the viral 50 on Spotify. And he's been like on the phone nonstop and dealing with all these like record labels and all these fancy people who wanna work with him now. And I am like virtually unable to do anything because I just can't focus when I like hear all this stuff going on. Cause I wanna listen and I wanna help and I wanna talk. And so moral of the story is my life has changed a lot in the past couple days and it's went from our house being very quiet and me just kind of focusing on my channel and that's all we do to my husband going absolutely crazy and his band like blowing up on the internet, which like I did not expect to happen. I mean, I did expect to happen, but I guess I just didn't expect it to happen so quickly and I certainly wasn't expecting it right now. So because of that and because of the last couple weeks with moving, with everything that's happened in our life, I have kind of let everything go to shit. <laughs> I haven't done my nails in in weeks. My house is not fully cleaned or unpacked from when we moved. It's such a mess. My laundry is piling up. Like I don't have any clean clothes and I just haven't been taking care of myself and neither has Emin. Like we have just completely thrown everything out the window because I don't know about you guys, but when I get into a stressful situation or if my mental health just isn't in good shape, everything else in my life just goes to shit. And I almost like go into survival mode when I get stressed. And if I have to focus on something, then I can't focus on anything else. Like I have to get my videos done. I have to help Emmett. I have to, you know, move. I have to make sure my old house is ready for us to move out of and we can walk through with the landlord and get our security deposit back. Like I have to make friends. I'm in a new city and I don't have any people to hang out with. So I need to hang out with people. I need to make time for that. Because of that, I just haven't been able to take care of the things that I really need to take care of. Now, I'm not here to complain about it. I make a lot of sad videos and sometimes I can be negative, but today is not that kind of video. Like I just want to clean my house. I want to take care of myself and I want to feel good. There is something about your space. I think that's really important. Your house, your bedroom, your clothes, the people who live with you, like the energy that you surround yourself with, I think is really important. I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff. I personally am a big believer in that. And I even did an Instagram poll about this the other day. I was like, do you guys believe in this? Do you think that people leave negative energy behind when they leave a room? Do you think that negative people, like their energy is more powerful than positive people? And I was getting kind of, you know, esoteric with it on my Instagram, but it was really interesting to see people talk about it and respond to it because I don't talk about that a lot online. And I don't think a lot of people do, but that I think is a huge part of life. Like the energy that you're putting out into the world and the energy that you're getting back is dictating how your life is going. And so if you live in a house where you're unhappy, where it's messy, where you live with somebody who you just feel like is bringing you down, where you don't take care of yourself, you come home from work and you just like sit on the couch and die and feel horrible about yourself and just watch TV and eat and then fall asleep on the couch. Like, I think you guys all get it. There are some rhythms of life that we can fall into that feel like shit. And I'm in one of those right now. So that's why I'm making this video. But I think it's really important to take care of your space and not just because you have to be productive, not because, you know, if you're not working, you're not valuable, or if you're not keeping the perfect house, you're not valuable, but because that affects everything about your life. Your house is your safe space and your house is your place to create whatever energy you want, whatever vibes you want, like whatever aesthetic you want. That's supposed to be your safe place. And I think sometimes it falls to the last thing on the list, like your decorations. You're like, I don't want to spend money on that. Like, I don't want to have cool stuff on the wall. I don't want to spend money on a nice couch, like whatever. Maybe you can't, but I'm saying sometimes you prioritize other things over that because you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. But it totally, totally matters. Like even if it's not expensive stuff, like having plants, which you can get for super cheap, like on Facebook marketplace, you can buy cuttings from people and you can grow them into plants. Like having plants deeply changes your environment and bringing like oxygen into your house from plants and also just like the way it looks, I think it changes everything. And then having the right light in your house, like having freaking lamps everywhere and lights that are dimmable so that you can like calm down at nighttime. Having stuff that you enjoy. So like if you have a raggedy old comforter that has a ton of holes in it and is disgusting, like if you're able to get rid of it and get something on Facebook Marketplace or on Amazon that's cheap, affordable or expensive, whatever it is that you can do, if you can get something new that just feels good, it doesn't have to be nice and it doesn't have to be pretty necessarily. It just has to feel good for you. I don't even like what I have right now. I don't even like my decorations right now. They feel very stale. They feel very boring and cold. And yeah, they're colorful and it can be cute or whatever. But like I went to my friend's house last night and she just had the most warm and cozy vibe in her house. Like you just went in there and you wanted to sit down and chill out. It was awesome. And I was sitting there and I was talking to Emma and I was like, I want our house to be like this. Like I want us to have 
the best vibe ever in our house and we don't have it right now. So yeah, your space is a huge thing. And I think when we're talking about taking care of your environment in your space, I think your body is included that. I don't wanna sound like, you know, too hippie or whatever, but I think that the body you're in is like your second house. So yeah, you gotta take care of your home that you live in, but you also gotta take care of the body that you live in. And I don't do it enough. Like I shower every day and that's a big step for me because I didn't used to shower every day, but like doing my makeup, doing my hair, like that makes me feel confident. And I have not done that in weeks. Like the makeup that I'm wearing right now is the first makeup that I've done in a long time. And then doing my nails. Like I know that is superficial, but there's something about me having short nails that makes me feel less put together. And so I know that when my nails are jacked up, it's because I've been anxious. So I bit them all off or because I've been, you know, neglecting myself. So I haven't done them myself. And it's little symbols like that that kind of point you in the direction of like, oh, you should probably take a step back and take care of yourself a little bit better. Another one is cooking for yourself or, you know, eating well, whatever that means for you and your diet and your body. That's another sign that I can point to that's like, oh, I haven't been taking care of myself when I've been eating out too much. That generally means that I've been like rushing to eat. Like, oh, I just got to grab something really quick. I don't have time to cook. Or like I haven't been prioritizing my health because nine out of 10 times when I go eat out, I'm not choosing something super healthy. And so cooking for myself is the easiest way I do that. Cause it's a lot easier to eat well when you cook for yourself rather than when you go out to eat. And so I think that there's something very therapeutic about just going through your life and trying to fix it without trying to go too far. Because you can put a lot of pressure on yourself and you can be like, oh, my life is horrible, everything is bad. I have to fix everything. Like I have to go on a whole thing in my entire life and fix everything. But I don't think that's ever worked for anybody. Like you guys can tell me in the comments, maybe it's worked for you. I don't think I've ever successfully been able to fix every aspect of my life, no matter how hard I try. I can catch up on my laundry and I can clean my kitchen, but I might not get to, you know, cooking at home or I can cook a great meal and I can spend time with my husband one-on-one -on -one and not stress about work, but my laundry will be piled up. Like, I think that's just realistic. I think that our standard of life has been compared to everybody else's standard of life and what they post on the internet and what we see on Pinterest or TikTok or whatever. And so it's like, oh, I, I don't have a perfectly clean house and all these other things in check, then like that's not enough. And I didn't do enough and I didn't fix my life enough. But I think it's a hell of a lot better to just try to do as much as you can and then just congratulate yourself on that and acknowledge that every single day, there's always going to be something new. And I think that's why you can't fix everything all at once because every day something comes up where it's like, oh, I forgot to do that. I got to do that. Like that's just life. And I think there's this idea and there's this concept that one day we will all be good. And like, if you just catch up on your laundry and you're cooking in all this stuff that you want to prioritize, then you'll be good, but it's never going to end. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be some never ending void of like, oh my God, I have to do this every single day. It's like, no, you don't have to have perfection every single day. Cause it's not going to happen. I don't think it's possible to fix every aspect of your life and keep it that way. I think that the goal in life, especially as people get more and more involved in the internet is becoming perfection, looking good and having your life perfect and having everything in order. And everybody just feels like shit all the time when their life isn't in order. And I will look online at a girl's house and I'm like, oh my God, it's so clean. Like I see a TikTok video of somebody doing their laundry and I'm like, oh, I haven't done my laundry, but that's not really realistic. And I'm sure the girl in that video has other things that she hasn't done yet. She's just showing me doing her laundry and that's fine. And I think that I would just be a hundred times happier if I just focused on whatever I could do that day based on my mental health, based on my level of energy, based on how much work I have to do. Like if I was realistic with myself, instead of just expecting myself to do every single thing in one day and finish it and be perfect all the time, I would be so much happier. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. You can go check out Emmons music in the description and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Goodbye. Also, these are my finished nails. I kind of hate them. Look, I don't like the color. I don't know. Maybe I do. They look pretty cute in the screen. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.